Alright, uh, we're back with another quick build today, and it'll be a multiple episode, so let's get in. So, this time it's going to be a fighter jet, so we'll turn on the cemetery. And we will go to the back, extend that out to there. And we'll start building the cockpit interior, and we'll build off that. And it's going to be a mini fighter jet build. Um... Yeah, so, alright, let's extend it to the side, and we'll go get, get our seat, or pilot seat, I should say. We'll use the Hotess version, place it in the middle, yep. Now I'm going to delete the side, oh wait, go to that, undo that, and get rid of the side, and get rid of the back. We'll extend it by one, and we'll grab a, I think we'll grab a parachute from our um, inventory. No, um, put it one block further up. Grab a parachute, place it down, is it rising? Yep, right orientation. So select it up, and then what we'll do is we'll seal off the side a little bit. Box it down a little, and then we'll build a little bit of the walling in there, add a little bit of a wedge, and go forward from there. So grab some windows and grab one large one by four. I believe we'll need to clear the window. Um, yeah. So that's not going to fit, so what we'll do is we'll extend that out forward by two. And we'll grab a one by three. And we'll put that there. And we will extend from the top, never mind. We'll grab a window, uh, another window piece, put it on. Oh wait, never mind. It's not gonna fit. Mm, delete that and get a one by four by four. <coughs> All right. Extend that by one more. Get the one by four by four window. And oh, place it down. There we go. So now we'll delete that. Extend that and put the widgets back and seal that. Now grab some window pieces and put that on top. Seal off the other part with a another and just delete that. Put that there, put that there. Alright. Now I think you'll we'll use a corner being that I haven't built a fighter jet on my own before. Or for that matter, any jet, being that I'm more of a workshop template fuselage builder. But I reckon now would be a good time to try out using some of these, um, using my full potential and um, deciding I'm going to build a proper jet by myself. So put that down, delete that, delete that, delete that some wedges down just in case, probably change it later, so it does fit there. Um, let's grab some windows. We're in probably either later this episode or next episode, we'll make the canopy working. Um, and if this sounds a little off, this is just recorded after the initial video was filmed due to um, microphone being off just like my entire Linda build being that it doesn't display in Stormworks um, the actual state that your thing's in um, now what should I do? Hmm. Diamond might work. Um, 
yeah. I've already got ideas for the canopy next episode. Um, and like to modify it to because to be fair, I've actually already built I already built the jet, um and this audio is just me watching it over and recording it. So it's a little weird. Anyway, delete that. We'll get our one by four uh well yeah, one by four by four full um window I believe it's corners. What's it called? Um, I need to check. Anyway, wonder. Yeah, wonder corner four. Um, try and stick that in there. Can we do that? Or is there a hit box? No, it's not gonna let us, is it? That's annoying. Um, yeah. Um, let's go. So, what we'll do is we will. Add a window angle to go across that side once we can actually get the right blocks. There we go. And then <clears throat> we'll get this nicely done. No, not that one. There we go. Just down there. Pop that down and grab another one. Put that across there. Done. Alright, so now we've got that sealed, apart from that small little gap, which you can't really tell. We'll just paint this all um, black, make it look a little nicer. There we go. Nice black windshield. I typically do that with all my windows, to be honest. I just really like the black colour scheme. Um, and we'll work on the cockpit, the front of the cockpit, um, and fuselage. So we'll delete the bottom here, I guess. Oh, no, we won't delete it yet. We'll just extend it. Um, what else? We'll add in our front nose cone. So, I'm not sure entirely how we're going to do this. It's going to look a little jank. Um... In the end, this aircraft is going to be probably quite stubby. Um, but I reckon it'll look fine. Uh, we'll just have to make sure when we do add the gear, it's not too long. So I've already filmed the other episode where I added the gear. So I've got two other episodes, which I'm just uploading to my laptop. Um, and then... Um, what I'll do from there is, I've actually got to lower the gear, so there we go, nose curtains on, and we'll add in, uh, little widges, there, bam, oh, get rid of that, um, yeah, we'll go on, we'll just go on like that, um, we'll get, uh, pyramids, um, throw those on there, in there and then we'll probably just get to be honest I kind of wanted a camera but maybe we could add like a um cannon we'll probably add like a um no that's not gonna fit so yeah we'll just add the muzzle brake because that looks quite cool nonetheless oh, yeah, that reminds me of the 18 warthog that's what it reminds me of um, alright, so build that down, and we'll work off that. So that's just going to be a little fuselage ext extension, I've got to speak correctly. Um, let's send that across, yeah, pyramids, there we go. Send that across and put it on the bottom as well. And I'm sure one off will be fine. Um, let's see. Now, well, now we'll extend the fuselage back, I guess. Just check how it looks. It looks out. That looks about fine. Um, if you want to see anything changed, which across the next few episodes I will, 
um, comments, please, um, where to, where to handle there, and we'll add probably a ladder here, just for looks, but it can also be useful sometimes, maybe, turn that around, oh. alright, so now we'll work on the back half, um, we'll probably, we'll extend it out to make room for where the wings would go, which, We'll just work on like engine sockets for now because it's going to have like F14 style engines. But instead of um, having two afterburners, it's just going to be one regular exhaust, probably because afterburners are quite big and I don't have much room to work with with a dual fan engine to go in there. Send that out to the back, send that across, go on and wait delete that across and right, oh delete now get our wedges and we'll extend across there and fill the top in that looks decent not half that bad and we'll seal that off now I reckon we'll go up maybe no we'll, we'll just go straight up from there so it's gonna look a little stubby, but I'm sure we'll be fine. Um, set that there. Put those on the side. On this side. Once we get, or oh, actually, we'll get our pyramids first. Done. And put that. In, try and put that in at least there. And roll it over. Done. Put send that up. Oh wait. Fill in that one piece that we missed. Um, grab our inverse pyramid just so we can fill that gap in. Oh, I'm so out of order. Anyway, spin that around, send that up, done, and we'll seal that off. Um, yep, yeah, seal that. So it doesn't look too bad so far, but um, yeah, I think we'll go with the red paint design next episode as well. Or we might start painting it this episode, I'm not sure. Um, let's start with the area. So I kind of want it to be an F14 vibe. Like a mix of an F14 and like the undecided Concorde slash um, T144M blackjack engines um, style. But they'll be like, and then the wings will come off those. So we'll have like our intakes on those and then we'll go through the fuselage um, and we'll have like a fuel battery and stuff in there and maybe fuel in the wings if we can I actually haven't thought about fuel yet um, I'll upload this to the workshop once this creation is done as well as I always try to which probably Either today or tomorrow, I might be able to get my Inter Islander next episode done. Um, for the sake that I filmed that video maybe a week ago now. Um, and I still haven't made the second episode. Alright. Um, where's a... No. That's a little lag. Anyway, extend the back out even more. Just, we'll give it one block gap. Um, just for spacing's sake. So that way, and then we'll go up on, um, probably one, either once or twice more. This will probably be, our, yeah, this will be our last, um, extension. Send it across. Um, yeah. Um, please comment on what other videos you want to see me do, um, or how you want to see me edit, or just stuff I can improve on. Because I already know my audio quality isn't that good, but um, that's probably like fully. My fault being that I'm using a laptop's audio right now, 
and on the other occasions I'm using the um, the Turtle Beach, I believe it's the Recon 50 um, gaming headset, but it's still also not the best quality on its audio, but still decent. Um, yeah. Let's see. Delete that, delete that. To be honest, I'm taking lots of inspiration right now um, from. I'm good at Afterburner. From like Komodo Gaming, Frantic, and Spy Cake Snowbees videos right now. Um, to be honest, they're some of my favorite YouTubers right now. Um, that's actually how I found Stormworks, to be honest. I was just scrolling on YouTube. At, at a at my grandparents house um, and I saw a I believe it was um, a ship sinking uh, sinking ship survival from Komodo gaming with spike eggs um, that I found first um, anyway now that the rudder's built we'll work on our elevator. Alright, so extend it. Extend the armor. Extend and extend that. This will probably be highly modified and change in the future. Um, it will definitely be painted next episode. Um, and then probably in the fourth episode we'll get the engines working. I know in the third, which I've already filmed, um, we got the gear retractable and a, in the second video we got a, the canopy to open, but it's still kind of glitched, um, to this day. Anyway, let's get, we'll finish this off and see you in the next one. Goodbye.